If you're thinking about relocating and immigrating to Portugal with your family, then this video is for you. Portugal is a beautiful country with a rich culture and history, and it's becoming an increasingly popular destination for families looking to move abroad. In this video, we will discuss what you need to know about immigrating to Portugal and what you can expect when you get here. Hello, we are Mia and Rafael, founders of MOL Portugal, a property advisory company that helps you buy and rent property in Portugal like a local. Before we dive in, we kindly ask you that you like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. It really helps us out and allow us to continue pushing videos like this every week. So let's get into it. Portugal is known for its great weather, stunning beaches and rich cultural heritage. It is also a very safe country, with low crime rates and a friendly population. Portugal is a great place to raise children, with excellent schools, a high standard of living and plenty of opportunities for outdoor activities. If you are thinking about immigrating to Portugal, there are several things that you need to know. First is if you are not a European Union resident, you will need to obtain a visa. Portugal offers several types of visas. Some of the most popular ones are the Golden Visa, which is a long-term visa for investors, and then the D7 Visa, a long-term also visa for passive income earners, and now the new digital Domada visa called the D8 visa for the ones who are self-employed. While each visa has its own requirements, some general requirements include providing proof of income, health insurance, proof of accommodation in Portugal, and a clean criminal record. To learn more about the Golden Visa, D7 visa, and the new digital nomad visa, please watch our dedicated video that we posted for each visa. We've linked them below in the description. There are many great cities and towns in Portugal that are great for families. Some popular cities for expats include Lisbon, where we live and love, but also Porto and the Algarve region. When looking for a place to live, you will want to consider factors like proximity to schools, transportation and amenities. Depending on the visa you are applying, you will either have to purchase a property or you will need to find a rental property. But definitely you will need to provide a proof of accommodation before you relocate. This can be a massive pain point for applicants and because of that, we've launched a new service that can really facilitate this process for you. For more information on this new service, please visit our new website in propertyrentalportugal.com. This new service is the result of listening to our clients and as all of our other services, it also came from our clients' demands and pain points, so we wanted to help. While cost of living will vary greatly between larger cities like Lisbon and Porto in comparison to smaller towns, the overall cost of living in Portugal is generally lower than many other countries in Europe. Healthcare in Portugal is also very good, with both public and private healthcare options available. All residents in Portugal have access to the public healthcare system, but most of people choose to have private health insurance which is significantly lower than countries like, for example, US. In conclusion, immigrating to Portugal with your family can be a great experience. Portugal indeed offers a high standard of living, excellent schools and a rich cultural heritage. But keep in mind that the immigration process can be a bit bureaucratic, but with the right planning, preparation and guidance, you can make the transition to live in Portugal with ease. We hope this video has been helpful in providing you with some insights into what it's like to relocate to Portugal with your family. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you would like to work with us or if you feel like you didn't find the answers to your questions, 
feel free to schedule a one-to-one -one consultation call with us. We would love to offer you some clarity. You can find the link to schedule with us in the description below, along with the additional resources on valuable information about moving to Portugal. As always, if you found this video helpful, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. We post new videos every week. And don't forget to follow us on TikTok and Instagram, as we are quite active there as well. If you are considering relocating to Portugal, but you are not sure what visa route to take, watch this video on the golden visa, or watch the two videos at the end of this video on the D7 and digital nomad visa. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Ciao.